During this episode of Cars Plus, we're going to show you some of the issues and common wear points found in nearly 90-year-old Graham superchargers. Many issues are caused by people being absolute hacks. Others are caused by normal wear, some by lack of an oil filter, or poor quality oil. Stay tuned to learn more. I got the idea to do this particular video about a supercharger restoration after I'd already had Chester's for a while. Unfortunately, this isn't Chester's supercharger shaft. It's one that's damaged on both ends, also damaged on the flats. And we're showing you it's quite similar, in fact, has almost the same problems. Chester's was actually a little bit worse. You see the flats are damaged there. The centers are for turning between centers. People think they're for driving the shaft out of the supercharger. They're quite incorrect. Here you see it's very grooved. So it's got a lot of wear in it. We couldn't possibly leave it that way. It would have to be turned down because it is far too rough to run properly in a restoration. Looking at the middle bearing point, it's not too bad in this particular shaft. The bottom is bad, very grooved. The middle's not too bad. Probably skate by with that. Here's the top though. You can see it had no oil. Chester's was even worse than this particular one. Tells you to always keep the oil center exactly where Graham says to keep it right in front of the supercharger. Here we have Chester's shaft remachined. The top bearing surface, the middle bearing surface, are machined down undersized, both the same undersized that's necessary to fit back in the supercharger. The bottom is also machined undersized. You notice I'm noting a little mark there. From there down, I had to make a sleeve because there was a groove worn in the supercharger by that part, the floating washer. Floating washer will wear a groove if the oil isn't clean and there's dirt or grit in the oil, it'll wear it right into the steel shaft. Here I am showing you finishing up a new floating washer. Because the bottom of the shaft was not only sleeved and flatted, it had to be turned down too for a new bad job. Therefore, we need to make a brand new floating washer and the A-axis Sherline middle and lathe combination I have allows me to exactly duplicate what Graham had done in the past. Grooves being worn by floating washers are very common in Graham superchargers. Remember, not all the cars had oil filters. The oil wasn't as good, and it's the 1930s, they may not have changed the oil as often as they should have. One of the most common things wrong with Graham superchargers when they come in to be restored, they're missing proper hardware. Often substituting bolts for studs, or modern bolts throughout, or even deciding of all things that, well, I've got something that fits if I make the hole larger. I also see many broken off studs, broken off bolts that we have to extract. Lots of heel coil work normally. We found the correct parts from our spare supercharges for Chester's and been putting them in here. Sometimes we do have to source them and can on hardware parts. These specialized gram pieces, nope. We have to have spare superchargers just for those. You can see we're taking off tape. We've installed some of the parts on the supercharger temporarily so we can paint the main supercharger housing. In a moment you'll see why, because we sent this one out to be completely rebabbited. The bearings were completely shot 
to the extent that we had to redo them. And of course, we showed you the shaft was bad. Everything had to be undersized. There's the new Bevet in the supercharger. Looking at the cross shaft, you can see they thought the way you take the cross shaft out was to hammer on it. And they beat it up quite a bit. In fact, they've done both ends. You pull out the bronze housing, which is babbitted, prior to removing the cross shaft. You don't beat it out of the housing. That is the main supercharger housing. Here we come to something that happens every time. There are no seals available. They're made of unobtainium. Graham used an odd seal size. We found a seal that does fit, but we have to put a sleeve on the input collar every time to fit this. We also have the input collar that came with the supercharger. This is a reproduction. It's made of something that sort of looks like bronze. It's very soft. You can see it's beat up. This one they were smart enough to put a sleeve on of steel. Most often I have seen these not even sleeved and the seal wears a groove right into it. The holes also wear excessively. It's useless as a part if you ask me. I don't use those. In a moment you'll see I've substituted a original Graham supercharger input collar. The holes don't wear as fast. You still have to sleeve it though because we have to fit our new seal. So you'll see a brand new custom-made steel sleeve on this part. Fits our new seal beautifully. Here you see the top plate or top seal. You notice with that straight edge I just showed you, it's massively warped. That comes from people beating on the end of the supercharger shaft down on the bottom, thinking that's how you get it out. No, you remove the rotor first. Take the screws out, take this out, then take the shaft out. Unfortunately, people don't know that. There's the brand new CNC top seal we make. It's with one one thousandth accuracy. In a moment, we're going to show you how beautiful it will turn. And there you see one one thousandth accuracy, and you can turn the shaft, that's the vertical shaft, beautifully. Very common for this outside oil tube to be crushed or mangled. And in this case, we had one in stock. We did it up for Chester. It was less money than replacing and forming the copper, which we could do if we had to. And there you see the supercharger running very smoothly after the rebabbit job. Here we have the original top. Doesn't look too bad until we come around. And as you see, that top has been welded. It is probably cracked from freezing coolant inside of it. I could make that disappear, but why spend a thousand dollars of the customer's money when we have another supercharger top we could finish up for them and substitute? And that's what we did. <laughs> 